to find out the entry point in Fibonacci. Now some rule you just remember before you enter in this Fibonacci, uh, so you always find out the main trend, right? So suppose you want to trade in Fibonacci by using Fibonacci. So first thing you always remember, you just find out the main trend, right? So how uh, you will find the main trend? So when price is just the uh, wave is running like this and like this. So that means it's called imp impulsive wave, right? Always find out the impulsive wave. And this is called corrective wave. So here you can see this is the A and the B, and this is the C, right? So in that case, A, right? this is A B always longer than B C, right? Remember A B greater than B C. Remember, right? So now you can see this is like that, uh, like that, like that like that so now you can see here you can see this is uh, a point and this is b point right this is b point and this is c point so you can see a b is larger than b c right so that means trend is down remember got it what i'm uh, like uh, what i'm talking about when you always find out a b and b c point right in Fibonacci. So now you can see if first criteria is there, always find out the trend. Always find out that means impulsive wave and corrective wave. Always impulsive wave is larger than corrective wave, like BC, right? And next you can see find out the high, low, and high, uh, low, high swing. That means uh, this is the high, right? Low. So if you have this one, uh, lower low right lower low and this is lower high again they create, uh here lower high right lower high remember so after that they create high this was previous was like that uh, here was yeah, like that that is why they are creating lower high right because it is lower high lower high but here you can see they stop creating lower low and creating lower high have you seen so after that they create higher high higher high always find out that swing point this swing point this swing point this is swing point this is called swing point right this is called swing point last point remember so uh, have you got it what i'm okay let me check it once no audio okay no audio are you hear me uh, so uh, is the voice is not clear or what are you hear me this is swing computer audio audio is showing good uh, audio is showing good but i don't know is it able to hear me somebody 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 yeah but who people are using mobile i think they people are not able to hear me uh, right some people are using uh, mobile i think that is why they people are not able to hear me right so because uh, last uh, few days I'm not able to create the webinar uh, because I was in Mumbai for seminar because I given a seminar in Mumbai. Yeah. Okay. So vaccine, not able to hear me. Some audio problem is going on, I think. So next you can see where to improve the finish C. Uh, that means when you wanna enter in this market, so like that market is running like that, running like that, and, uh, so like that running. So here you can see A point and this is B point. Always wait to close this C point, right? Wait 
to complete this three point sometimes what happened uh, here will be like uh, uh, hundred percent right or here will be zero percent right zero percent so sometimes price is just bouncing more uh, 23 percent 23 percent right they are bouncing from 23 percent sometimes they are bouncing from 38 uh, percent right sometimes bouncing from 50 percent like uh, 50 percent sometimes bouncing from 61 percent suppose uh, 60 one percent right sometime price is bouncing like that so here might be c point 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 right that is why always wait to complete that uh, c point so once they complete the c point they start price pushing upside right pushing upside uh, in between this area you will find some candlestick pattern like that so i especially i use five most uh, famous candlestick pattern so i use that one so I'm looking for somewhere support and candlestick pattern, support, candlestick pattern, support, candlestick pattern. So always find out uh, the uh, way to improve the C, right? L let the finish the C point. So after that, we will enter. So I'll tell you how to enter in this market, right? So next, you can see uh, number four wait for confirmation signal so i already told the confirmation signal looking for candlestick pattern like that the price is going up right here a point is there and uh, this is a b point right so it's a c point right where is the c point so we need the c point we need c point so we need we are looking for uh, suppose this is a zero percent right so if we place zero then uh, it should work like properly. So otherwise, it'll... so suppose here is a 50%, right? Somewhere here is a 50% retracement. So here is a 50% retracement. So in this area, right? In this area, we are looking for candlestick pattern like that, right? Somewhere like a candlestick pattern like that, angle frame pattern, right? Sometime we have seen like a uh, tweezer pattern, like that candlestick pattern, and like that. So we are looking for candlestick pattern uh, in that area. So after that, when price will push up, right? And we confirm this is a C point now. Have you got it what I'm talking? Right. We have to find some support area by like moving average, uh, like that moving average will be like that, like that, like that, like uh, exponential moving average, EMA or simple moving average, like uh, 50 are there, right? EMA 50 are there, this one. So we have seen some support and candlestick pattern. At that time, we'll confirm that C has completed. This is the level of C. Right, this is a C point. C point is complete. Right, this is a C wave. Now you can look like that. This A, B, now C. You can see this A, B point, now C point. Have you seen like that? So that means this is a C point. Got it? Now turn for turn of the business. I'm writing in a business trade. That means trade on one of extension line. It will show you later. So that means uh, what I'm going to talk like that. Um, where is your entry point? Suppose this is the A point. All right. So let me draw a little more up. And uh, this is B point and price just retracing. Right. And you can see, you can say like that, uh, this is 50%. And above here was somewhere here like that like that uh, like that 38 percent retracement was there right 38 percent right 50 percent so we have seen here c is there some candlestick pattern up form here so after that price is pushing up right so once they break this 38 percent have you seen this 38 percent once they break this 30 percent we will start buying above this area so this is our entry point and target will be somewhere first target will be here this is our target and this is our entry 
entry point, right? Entry point. Sorry. This will be our entry point. It is our target. Right? Have we got it? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, so still some people are not able to hear me. I don't know what happening. So that uh, that is our entry point. Let's check in our life. Uh, this is the life chart, right? So you can see here. Now let me show you. Now here you can see prices creating higher high and higher low. Have you seen the price? They are forming impulsive wave and corrective wave, right? Like that means A point and this is B point. And you can see this is a C point, right? So first entry point, let me tell you. Uh, let me draw this uh, Fibonacci here. We have seen this is a point. Uh, okay, just a minute. Uh, this is a point here. And I want to exactly I'm gonna connect this point by this one, a point. And here you can see this is called B point. Remember, this is B point here. Have you seen? And now you can see exactly here. We can see this is a C point. Right. This is C point. Now let me connect my Fibonacci. So I want to connect A point and B point, right? I just connected. Right. So you can see price just retraced to 61%, right? Here you can see it's just showing 38. Uh, this is 38 is showing but actually they are retracing 61 percent because i use like that for for extension right so okay wait just just a minute let me remove uh, this few minutes first and then you you able to understand so retracement we have to use differently right now you can see price retracement Retraced 61%. Have you seen this is 61% retracement? This level, right? This is called C point. Now, first entry point. Once they break 50 level, have you seen this one 50? Once they break this 50 level, I'll enter here. First target will be next here. Second target will be here according to the first method, right? So that means price is reversing from moving average, uh, sorry, price is reversing from Fibonacci retracement of 50, right? So we can see price just fell down and they're retracing. And they complete their retracement after that they broke this Fibonacci line. And above, this is our entry point, next target will be here, right? So this is first entry point. So let's check it. Why voice not coming? Why is not coming? So next we can see here. Sorry. Is it clear if you want to see entry point? Now, uh, let's check it, uh, breakout trading strategy. So breakout trading strategy, that means basically we are calculating zero to 100. Suppose uh, price just running like that, uh, like that, like that, like that, like that. So we are calculating this A point is a zero percent. And this is a B point, right? This hundred percent. This is hundred percent about that wave. So breakout strategy. That means when they will break this hundred percent, so we will start buying above this hundred percent, 
right? So some criteria are there. Let me tell you. Okay. Now you can see first criteria. Identify the main trend. I always train. Uh, I always say like that. Uh, you always find out the main trend, right? Without knowing the trend, don't place this Fibonacci, right? So first you identify the main trend, like uh, who uh, whose direction price is running, right? And the next you find out high, low and high low and low high swing point, right? I already discussed about that one. It's a high point, low point, high point, low point. So it's a very familiar to find out the high point and low point, right? So number three, wait for complete uh, improvement of C. That means I already told you, this is a C completed, right? This is a C. And the third way to break out above the swing a b that means if you are if you see this is a point if uh, this is a b point so you always wait to break this a b point right this is called a b point always wait to break this level once break this a b point so that means uh, most of the people are looking for previous higher point right market is running if you are not using Fibonacci, so people are using like that uh, this was previous higher point so Price is running like that, running like that, running like that, like that. Once they break, it's called a previous higher point breakout trading strategy, right? So similar Fibonacci, when you will apply the Fibonacci, you will find the extension, right? So 123% extension, 138% extension, 161% extension. So th uh, that will be our exit point, right? That will be our exit point, right? So that is why uh, we have we must uh, use Fibonacci for find out the exit point or our target. Okay, wait to retest, right? Uh, this is the most important. So suppose uh, this was a wave and price is like that, like that, right? Yeah, this is the A point, B point, and uh, this is a you can say like that. This is a higher point PBS, right? and price is just pushing up, broke this level, don't catch, broke this level, don't catch at that time, right? Price will break this level and again, they will retrace toward this uh, sub uh, resistance line and it will be become a resistance. So once they retrace, you just look for a candlestick pattern, you just place above buy, enter here, right? That is the most important, wait, for retest, usually, uh, usually it will be a reading B point and a swing to be following time frame. And even so, like that. Uh, so, if you see in a four hour time frame like that, and a four hour time frame, it will look like one candle. But if you go to a small uh, time frame, like 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes, there will be a uh, retracement. Or another thing you always remember. Uh, let me see. Most of the people are doing that thing. Uh, Sometimes uh, price is not retracing. The prices continue toward upside, right? So let me tell you. This is the app, the uh, retracement. And the retracement. This is a higher point. And here it was. Uh, here was a resistance line. So at that time, price uh, break this level in this candle. So sometimes they are uh, they are not doing retracement and price doing continue toward upside. So at that time, how we will enter? So you just go to 15 minute time frame and see the candle, and you just place above that uh, uh, candle uh, like uh, which is closing candle. You just place above this candle by order. Okay, let me show you. Uh, it will be live example then you might come to know, right? So let's check it here. Uh, okay, I wanna use Fibonacci, this is a point and B point and C point. So we have seen everything out there. All right, got it. Uh, this is a point 
and this is B point and we have seen somewhere this is C point prices impulsive wave corrective wave right now this is impulsive wave so somewhere here we have seen buy order right somewhere but uh, here we can see prices just uh, extend toward uh, the 138 uh, percent extension after that price just retrace toward this area and this is our entry point but here prices when price is running continuously so we can't enter in this market right when price retrace toward this uh, this was uh, previously support right oh sorry uh, yeah support and the support now to become a resistance in this area so after seeing this candlestick pattern have you seen this candlestick pattern so we'll place uh, just below sell order and target will be 161 hour extension right so people are most people are thinking why i miss this opportunity leave the opportunity they always do the money management and set your target first right and keep your asset just above here and you will find here at least one is to three trading ratio right one is to trade three trading ratio in in between this range which is one hour and here will be at least three hour one two two point half almost we can check it but probability i'm just talking right so that will be our target now we can see another method we have this candle continuously falling down so most of the people uh, they are not uh, able to catch this opportunity so how we will trade so in that case you just go to small time frame this is uh, you can see let me go uh, this is large time frame let me show you uh, this is a small okay you can see here in a small time frame like uh, 15 minutes they will find here somewhere right so let me check it here where is that 15 minute crossover okay somewhere here okay somewhere here so now you can see this one have you seen in that point right in that point you can see here in that point right let me zoom this is more so in that case you can see this candle in a small time frame this candle in 15 minutes this candle broke this uh level so that means let me tell you uh price was running like that right running price is running like the large time frame and this one's okay let me remove this one so price is running like that this was uh zero percent right you can say like that a point and this is 100%, right, 100%. And you can say like, this is a B point after that price done, a little more retracement, right? In a large time frame I'm talking about. And after that price broke this level and this breaking point, have you seen this breaking point is this one. Uh, this is four hour, four hour, it's just showing prices running like that and break long candle right and here you can see small time frame this candle have you seen this candle broke this this hundred percent right this hundred percent in 15 minutes so have you seen this candle is a lower point is this one all right this is a lower point so we'll place below this lower point sell order right this is our sell order entry and this is our closing point and we'll our sl will be here uh below or above this uh 100 right this is our entry point so this one uh four hours are right so now you can see no audio so are you able to hear me so do you have any query so you can ask me if you have any query, so you can ask me directly.
do you have any query or you have any question about that uh, so you can ask me just leave a message to me so next you can see here advantage so you just uh, read properly then it comes to know right Do you have any queries then uh, you just leave a message to me or how to know which swing to apply if you want to see. Okay, simply. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Let me remove this all are there. It's a very easy or very basic, no need to make, no need to be a complicated, right? So simply you just go to any time frame, like uh, one hour, four hour, whatever, right? So if you wanna, uh, suppose you are a day trader, so you just go to 15 minutes. Okay, I'll tell you. So let me do a back testing. So then it comes to know. You just tell you just tell me any script. You just tell me any script so I can analyze. You just tell me, uh, uh, Mr. Patel. You just tell me any script like any stock, any commodity, uh, where I can use Fibonacci, and I can I can tell you like, okay, Bank Nifty, good. Because I never uh, prepare my myself. Okay, I'll I'll ex I'll explain uh, both how they both how they I'll explain. Okay, first uh, let's see in a bank nifty because I never do any preparation because if you ask me I can show you in a live market I never use I never make any presentation previously I just uh, explain in a live market again so let's check it. Okay, one by one I'll 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 discuss first uh, bank nifty right I'll show you. First, bank nifty. This is bank nifty. Have you seen this is bank nifty? Now we don't know anything, right? Here you can see we don't know anything, right? The price is running here. So have you seen this is we know that one large wave. So this is called impulsive wave. Impulsive wave always uh, longer than corrective wave. So now you can see corrective wave, right? If you want to use the Fibonacci, very simple. Very simple. You just connect that one. You just uh, you just remember some criteria. Enter. Suppose who which candle broke this? Uh, like uh, this is hundred percent. Have you seen this is hundred percent, right? This is hundred percent. So this is a retracement C point. Have you seen? This is A point, and this is B point. So once they break this level, have you seen? They broke this level by this one. So we'll place sell order here. Target is there, 161 or you can close here, right? So another thing, according to that pattern, once they break this level, so again, price just retrace toward this area. So now you can see, have you seen after doing the retracement, have you seen after breaking this 100%, have you seen after breaking this 100% price X uh, came to 161. After that price again retraced toward uh, 100%. That means price like that to retrace. And this was their support previously, right? This was, and after break this level and price again retraced toward this supporting line and it's acting as a resistant, right? This was, okay, let me draw by this one. Okay, have you seen? This was, this was a support previously. Now it's acting as a resistant, right? Now we have seen clear candlestick pattern. Have you seen this candle, right? Clear candlestick pattern. That means bearish candlestick pattern, right? 
once appear that candlestick pattern so we we'll place just below sell order right and our target will be where so next wave we have seen this one have you seen this is next wave we have seen here our extension and 161 our target right so this is our target next you can see what to do we don't know about that one where is the past right what is there so we have seen this is a impulsive wave right this is a point and this is b point and the c point right so now let me use the fibonacci here right so now this is our anti point have you seen this is our anti point and the target will be somewhere here 161 and who people are using this one so after breaking this 50 percent they they start entering here and they, they will close here right so let's check it right have you seen what is our target 161 exactly hit our target have you seen we don't know about the bank nifty what are there so that 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 was our entry point and target are there right so now we can see we don't know about the bank nifty next uh, what going to be happen tomorrow so we have seen so let me tell you we have seen now we must confirm this is the impulsive wave this is the main trend right and the corrective wave now you can see this is the impulsive wave and it's corrective wave is under construction still not completed right remember this is a point and this is a b point we have seen this is a c point right next after that we will find this is a f point and this is a b point because they are creating higher high right higher low we need a higher low it is a higher low this is a higher low and this is a higher high we need if this is a, a point and this is a b point and the b point what is the c point we need the c point what is c point or here we can see this is a higher low and this is a higher high and now we need higher low now where is the higher low where is the higher low we need we need to find out uh, we must find out where is the higher low that is why we are using moving average and uh, whatever people are using so supporting line so we have seen uh, here by using fibonacci so let me show you fibonacci uh, here i want to connect higher point and higher low point we have seen here right let me show you 61 percent what we have seen in a 61 percent and another thing uh just we want to connect 50 uh, percent now let me remove the old thing right now we have seen here two supporting area one have you seen this was previous higher point first testing to break this level and here we can see this was a support and this was a support and the here was resistant next the resistant we have seen three uh, one time two time three time four time right this is the one time which is two time the three and this is the four four time they are trying to break this level and now in a 61 percent in that area they are placing a strong support so we are looking for might be reversed from this area so first next we can see here was another support but it's a less strong one twice little more and try in a 50 percent if once they break this 50 percent they might reverse from 50 percent right got it what i'm talking about so wait wait okay now we can see uh, right now you can see here price might reverse from this area of 
price might reverse from this area. We have seen two supporting area. So now big question is how we will confirm. So in that area, we are looking for candlestick pattern, bullish candlestick pattern, right? There is bullish candlestick pattern like a pin bar and morning star like that, like that, like that. It's called morning star like that, morning star pattern like that, engulfing pattern. Right, engulfing pattern, uh, like one black crow pattern, like that, uh, like that. This type of candlestick pattern, this type of candle, this type of candlestick pattern, this type of candlestick pattern, and this type of candlestick pattern, we are looking for above this supporting area. Once they appear here, this type of candlestick pattern, we can go for buy directly in that area. And our target will first target will be here somewhere. Next target will be here, 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 like that. We are similarly we will find some support, a resistant area like that. Here we see this is a resistant area. We'll close first position because here was um, what called uh, support, right? Somewhere and a resistant. So we, if you want to enter here, we'll close our first position. And then next, we will find some resistant area here. We can see this is a resistant line here somewhere, right? Most recent area. So we'll close our position because in that area, this is called zone. This is zone. In this zone, we have to close our position, right? Is it clear? Now, first question we complete. Uh, who asked? Uh, Bang Nifty Patel. Okay. Mr. Patel, uh, Patel, uh, I think you clear, right? How to apply? Magnity, we done. Okay, okay. And then now, hmm, okay. So you always remember what I'm talking. Don't be confused. Uh, don't be hurry in this market. Opportunity always comes in this market, right? It's a very tough to control your mind. Emotion. So always you uh, control your emotion. Like that is why you just always find your trading system and be a discipline. When you'll be disciplined, when you have a trading system. So always find out the trading system and always find out the entry and exit rule. Don't enter anytime. Always find out entry rules, some rules. Okay. So now we can see. But BPCL. Okay, let me show you BPCL. You can, you can see BPCL, BPCL, and this is BPCL. So now you can see here BPCL small time frame is running like that. This is a fully sideways, fully sideways market. In that area, now you can see price is creating lower low, lower high. Have you seen swing point? Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. But thing is that here is the create here lower high. That is why we have to find out some resistance line. So I'll tell you why I told to enter when they will break this level. So I'll tell you, right? Uh, okay, BPCL. Now we have seen a point, okay, B point, and this is a C point. Already done, it, right? Complete. Right. Next, we can see this is another A point, and this is a B point, and this is a C point. Have you seen? This is another wave. Now another wave. You can see this is a, a point, and this is a B point, and somewhere C point will be here. All right, the point is still going on. So if you want to enter, so you must wait to break this level. That means if you want to use the Fibonacci here. So I want to connect this Fibonacci and the near market is near 50%, right? So once they break this level uh, here like that, you can enter below that one. So that is called breakout trading strategy, right? So big question is there, is it able to break this level or not? So remember, once they break, 
when they will retrace so we can enter for the cell and the target will be somewhere here right and that is 161 percent of retracement but according to me because i'm not analyzing stock uh, most uh, mostly uh, because uh, there is uh, many stock they have a own uh, uh, own choice like own what called some people have different stocks like that right so they are trading so you can see first time i have seen this is a bpcl so let me explain how to analyze the market remember it's the most important thing right so before you uh, before you use this indicator or any indicator you will always analyze the market so that is why let me explain uh, for you who told me to analyze this market bpcl Patel, Neil Patel. Okay, so I am analyzing for you BPCL. Right here, you can see BPCL. Let me check it in a large time um, in a daily. Sorry. Right. So let me show you what called BPCL. What is that? Yeah, this is a BPCL. According to moving average and the chart pattern, oh sorry, uh, price action pattern, the price is running in a downtrend. Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, right? So downtrend. And the rule is that in a downtrend, we never gonna take by this, remember, in a downtrend, right? Now, thing is that we have to find out some support and resistance level right so let me show you the support and resistance level where is the support and resistance level so let me use the first so i want to you i want to connect the most touches area so have you seen i want to connect most touches area so why i draw this horizontal line you can see this is touch 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 here trust here you can see most touches area and price is just running in this range right and the next you can see i want to draw a resistance line to connect more process area like that so i'm going to connect this one this one this one this one this one this color resistance let me show you the support what is the support so support we must connect more tasks we can place here also we have seen this is uh most tasks area here right here somewhere here here and here this is called resistance now we can see prices uh, and another you can see here we have seen more tasks area in this area but uh, that was uh, not recent right so that is why i don't want to put here all right sorry right so we have seen prices in downtrend right and right now the price is running above this supporting zone remember what i'm talking now you can see in a small time frame like four hour have you seen that okay in a four hour have you seen and another thing you just always follow in a daily chart is candlestick pattern is it there any candlestick pattern yeah they're forming some candlestick pattern and here you can see we have seen some trend reversal pattern remember trend reversal pattern they're creating lower low lower high lower low lower high here they form double bottom have you seen first bottom second bottom and here we have seen this is a neckline right you can say like that w pattern and here's uh, 220 moving average is forming a strong resistance right now right so once they break this level, so definitely we'll go for buy, remember. Or if they break this level, so we are looking for, we uh, sorry, we never trade in between this range. So in between this range, we never trade because this range is very dangerous. That is why we never gonna trade in between this range. So let me tell you the range is too big, but it doesn't matter, leave it the market right this is the range so let me remove a little more pull up this area right so now you can see we have seen this is a range so we can't say anything in this range so never going to trade always wait 
to break this range, right? So have you seen? Very moving average. So now you can see people are uh, people are most people are telling me why I lost this opportunity. Most people are asking me, this is a big range, right? Here you can see at least 10 rupees or 20, 20 rupees are there here. 20 rupees are there. 20 rupees and up, but we are uh, trading for two rupees or one rupees, but you told 20 rupees don't trade. Because in this, you can see this is a very dangerous market. This market is running in a range and a sideways. So we can determine. Go if you wanna enter here for the sell or buy, this is not called high probability trade, and we need a high probability trade. If they break this level, so it is a high probability to reach this area. Got it? What I'm talking. If they break this level, it's a high probability to reach this area, right? That is why we are looking for sell entity below this area and the buy entity above this area. So in between this area, we never gonna trade in between this area because there is, there is there are no probability, nobody can predict, even nobody can predict the market, but there is a less probability to market go favor of you. So that is why I don't trade in between this range. So now you can see in a small time frame, like a 15 minute. Now, okay, uh, this is four hour, four hour, something like that, four hour. We have seen like, and uh, we need uh, 15 minutes. Have you seen this is a 15 minutes to look like that, right? So if you wanna see by 15 minutes, definitely people are start buying this area, right? If you are not analyzing in a large time frame, uh, people are starting buying this area. We don't know because this is a range market might reverse from this area. This is a sideway market. Uh, there is no rule and regulate. Uh, there is no rule other in a sideway market. You can see they are creating higher high, higher low after the lower high. According to the rule, they must create a higher high, but fail to create higher high. Again, create lower low. Right next, they must create a lower high and like that, but they create suddenly higher high. Again, lower low. Right. So here you can see higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Who knows? They will create like that here what happened something they must create here but who knows then must go like that here here but who knows it will come so that is why i don't want to trade in this range so here only 20 point so if they break this level so definitely i'll start buying this above when target will be here if, if they break this level i'll start selling below this area right this is called trading strategy and trading setup. And we always follow the trading system, right? Okay. Okay, got it to what, uh, what, how to trade in BPCL, right? So that is why users always uh, find the large time. Frame. So now, uh, Mr. Rahul. Okay, uh, sir, how to know till how much price can continue uh, it uptrend or downtrend uh, with the help of Fibonacci extension. Okay, good. good. So if you want to know uh, like a uh, last pointer, okay, let me show you here, right? Let me show you BPCL, no need to explain more. So now have you seen BPCL uh, price was running in a downtrend, have you seen? This is down 10, down 10, down 10, down 10, down 10, right? So if you want to use here Fibonacci, right? Most of the people are using like that here and find out to D point after that they are using like that, right? So some people are using like that. So let me show you here. Then you comes to know properly. So let me use the Fibonacci. So first we use here. Some people are using various uh, type. This is A point. And have you seen this is a B point? And this is a C point, right? This is uh, E point, a D point. This is D point. This is extension. Have you seen? This is called extension, remember. 
Now, after create, uh, sorry, after forming this wave, after complete that wave, people, most traders are using this one, right? A is same, B will be here, C will be here. Like, have you seen 123 extension, right? So now question is that how will confirm the price will continue or it will reverse? So Fibonacci never uh, show you from which level price will reverse. For find out this trend reversal, uh, so if you wanna know that uh, when the trend will uh, change, so that is where we are always using extension. Right, have you seen, uh, this is extension of 123 and another you can see here, extension somewhere like that, uh, here was a B point and this is uh, a B point. Next, you can see here, if you wanna connect, you can see 38% because this line, Fibonacci very strong. So at that point, we have seen trend reversal pattern, right? So have you seen, this is a trend reversal pattern, they are forming, um, double bottom, right? double bottom or W pattern, you can say like that, this is neckline, or here you can see this is a neckline. Once they break this neckline, so we'll confirm that trend uh, change, they'll create a new high and a new low, and they'll continue like that, they'll start like that, right? So this is called uh, trend reversal pattern. So always you, We are using Fibonacci extension. So you can see this is a F point. And this is a B point. And here you can see this is a C point and this is a D point, right? So at that time we have seen this is a W pattern or double bottom pattern. And that if they break this neckline, we'll confirm that trends has changed because this, this is a downtrend. And from this area, trend has changed and it is starting what upside right for trend continue pattern you can go through here right mm. so you will find here pattern go to start pattern and uh, so you will find double top double bottom pattern this is trend continue pattern there trend uh, reversal pattern so here you can see double top and double bottom pattern so this is called double bottom and here we can see the trend was running in a downtrend and after forming this is called double bottom right so they broke this trend line and trend changed toward uptrend right so that is why here like that market was running like that running like that use their zero percent and hundred percent at Fibonacci and here was 100% and here might be 161% extension, 161% extension and at that, after reaching that uh, one, uh, sorry, 161% extension, they form a double bottom pattern or you can say like that W pattern. After break this trend line, have you seen is a buy here, break this trend line is confirming a uptrend right so that is why we always use what call uh fibonacci extension right good okay 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 sir how to know till how much price can continue to uptrend or okay thanks 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 so can you analyze the sort of crude oil how to know till how much price can continue up and or down trend with the help of Fibonacci extension, uh, Fibonacci projection. I always analyzing uh, crude oil uh, in uh, our YouTube because especially I train QE, uh, crude oil and zinc and the bank nifty option, right? I, I did, uh, my portfolio is like that, uh, it's a long run investment. Uh, there is a big uh, uh, method to analyze uh, how to invest for long term, like five years, 10 years, like that. And another I trade in crude oil and zinc mostly. All right. You just visit to our uh, YouTube channel. You always find our YouTube channel. So let me show you our Allies Blue YouTube channel. I'll show you. So you just visit, I think, somewhere yesterday I analyzed. Uh, sorry. 
analyze uh, crude oil. Something about, uh, I forget it because, let me check it, crude oil. Crude oil. Okay, 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 okay. Here was crude oil. Yeah, this is crude oil. So I think crude oil I analyzed yesterday. Right, uh, video manager. And uh, crude oil. Just let me check it. When you think of accounting and finance, what comes to mind? Don't worry. I just didn't go with technical analysis. Okay, of my okay. So in this video, I will discuss about crude oil. So here you can see this is a crude oil four hour chart, but this uh, is the line. So now, the question is there where is our entry point? Or for our entry point, we have to wait to break this level. Have you seen? This was our previous uh, supporting range, right? So, uh, sorry, this is our resistance zone, right? So, once they break this level, so we can go for buy above this level, right? So, most of the people are thinking here, right now, price is running a, a range. But according to me, don't do that thing right right if they break this level you can go for buy but what is our target so that is why i want to connect this was with our uh, higher points you see so i want to connect more classes area right let me see i just now you can see this was previous so that means yesterday i told that here you can see remember i think i given a buy order so you can see my previous video because uh if you see in a four hour chart i already drawn here i think you remember you know uh that means i think you remember that one who people are following me around three seven nine eight i told yesterday here to buy crude oil right here exactly i told that just the place buy order here and take your profit somewhere here like if you are doing a money management and a risk management you can say like that one is to two we have seen here this is our entry point and 50 uh, somewhere 50 point were our sl and our target was 100 point i think we achieved that one that means our trading ratio was one is to two right uh like here you can see this is a one r and this is a two r right so that was my yesterday analysis. So you can see here. So most of the people are following and earning a uh, lot of money from there, right? Okay. Okay. How to draw the Fibonacci extension line? Okay. So you just follow that uh, YouTube channel because I'm analyzing every day. Oil, Magnifty, Zinc, and who people are asking me to analyze the market stocks also, right? So do you have any query so you can ask me anything or I think? So already, okay, already one hour is over. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video and I hope you learned something from uh, this uh, video. So hope well. So thank you. Bye-bye.